Kung Fu Pod. Kung Fu means hard work, and that's exactly what this podcast is about. How you can apply the philosophy of Kung Fu, or hard work, to your everyday life. Today's episode, I'd like to talk to you about hydration. Everybody knows you need to stay hydrated, you need to drink more water, right? Well, here in Florida, it feels like summer all year round, and um, we definitely notice at the Wallum Temple, a lot of people are not nearly hydrated enough. Um, But what does that mean? How much water is too much? How much should you be drinking? What's what's the right amount? You know, there's a lot of variances and a lot of people say X amount ounces a day. A good measure would be half your weight, half your body weight in ounces. If you don't make that much, because it's quite a bit, um, that's okay, but it's something to aim towards. Another important thing to remember is that you don't just hydrate during exercise or right after. You need to be hydrating throughout the day so that your body is ready when it's time to use up all that energy and sweat. So stay hydrated all day long. Another another downside is some people tell me they don't like the taste of water. Obviously, that's really the best choice. There's no calories. It's it's a great way to replenish. Um, But if you don't like water and it's not for you, there are some healthy alternatives. The first being tea. I love tea. I drink it every morning. So if you can get a nice organic loose leaf tea, great. But if not, that's okay. Any tea is good as long as you don't add a bunch of artificial sweeteners. Um, And in the Chinese culture, we drink hot or warm tea. They actually don't believe in drinking anything cold. They feel like that disrupts the system. It's 100 degrees out in Florida, so maybe it's not practical to drink a hot cup of tea, but if you can, go for it. Um, My personal favorite alternative is coconut water. So that is all the craze right now and hitting the mainstream market, which is fantastic. I've been drinking coconut water since I was very young because my mom is from Jamaica, so it's been introduced to us for a very long time. Uh, One of the benefits of coconut water uh, compared to something like Gatorade or a sports drink is it has two times less sugar, 15 times more potassium, and three times more natural sodium. So it's doing all the function of something like a sports drink, um, you know, but at a better benefit. So just make sure there's no artificial sweeteners and no artificial ingredients, so you don't want to take a great clean product and then add all these terrible things to it, right? So please check your your bottles or your cartons before and um, enjoy your drink. So that's all for today's episode. Please subscribe to Kung Fu Pod and share it with your friends if you're enjoying this podcast and keep up the hard work.